Okay. Welcome to our team meeting, everyone. Um, so I'm going to do a recap of the Anaheim Roadshow that we just went to. It was amazing. It was the very first roadshow that they had done, and I was super impressed. Weren't you guys? I mean, yeah. With the quality and and everything for being the first one that they laid out, it was it was like a mini conference convention, I think. It was like that. Um, yeah. yeah, that's what it looked like when 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 the videos were up before they told you not not to video. It looked like just like your Vegas conference. Right, and they had um, an apparel store. Did you see the live video I put in the team group with all the? I went around all the different shirts that they had. I have not been able to get to there yet, but oh. I'll do that a little later. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that. And they have a lot of different variety ones, which are, there are a lot of fun ones. Of course, they're expensive, but there you go. They always are. If you want to get good shirts, you can go on Amazon, and that's where Pam gets all her stuff. <laughs> yep. I'm wearing one from Amazon. <laughs> Mine says, I'm a simple woman. Um, coffee. Pets, coffee, dogs, coffee, and CBD. Oh my God, I need that shirt. <laughs> That's cute. And, and did you get yours from Amazon, Shelly? I got it from Christmas for, from Alana, so I think so. Oh, nice. Mm. Um, and, and then also Wheezy's Warehouse on Facebook is um, Judy's sister, Jackie. Right. Um, that yeah. You can get stuff too. And the bling sweatshirt that I was wearing at conference, I got from her. So, okay, great. Yeah. I have a gift certificate I have to spend. Well, there you go. Yes, Michelle. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so a few of the announcements that they said right kind of off the bat was the sprays are all getting reformulated, mm -hmm. which yay. Yay. Um, excited about that. So I think they're going to um, take out some of the maybe not so good artificial sweeteners, even though there were just trace amounts, it's, people still didn't like that. So I'm really happy, happy to hear that because I love the sprays too, you know, so that's, oh, yeah, baby, that is awesome. Um, the relief is going to be a bigger jar. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yes. <laughs> so instead of the wee dinky one, it's going to come in a larger one as well. Um, Same price? He didn't uh, say. Oh, it'll be more expensive, I'm sure. It'll probably be the $89 price point, yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah, yeah I would think. Um, and then another cool thing is all the bottles are going to have a QR code on them. And you'll be able to scan the QR code and it'll take you to a website that has um, all the uh, third party testing and COAs on it. Yeah. Um, that was very cool. That, Laura, look, can I just jump in for a quick second? That, oh, sorry, my phone's going off. Okay. That, that was huge, especially with all that hoopla about what Dr. Oz was talking about last night on the late night news wow. where he was, had reviewed, he, he and his investigative reporters had reviewed like 17 different CBD products that they had bought like at different retail stores, probably, I guess, in the LA area, I would imagine. Um, and of those either didn't have what they said they had, or they had things like traces of ethanol or whatever. So having our, our QR code on there where people can go right to it, that is huge. Yeah. The timing couldn't have been better, seriously. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's just so exciting, you guys. We're just so with the right company and everything. It's just Definitely. awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, and then the web websites are all going to be enhanced. So excited about that. So they're going to um, bring, it, bring the hemp works and MPC all together so you can purchase the sprays and the CBD products all together. You're not going to have to do separate orders. You can combine them. Um, they're going to make it much more customer friendly or, or purchaser friendly. Shelly, your dogs are making noise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> purchaser friendly by being able to drag and drop into the cart so in the next 60 days all that should be released so that that is going to be awesome too because I mean didn't you hate telling people that okay if you want to order sprays you're gonna have to go in and make a different order and, and then they'd always complain about two shipping costs and everything yeah. 
that is one thing that's going to be knocked out too. So that is awesome. Okay. Um, and the time frame on that? Do you um, 60 days, Jenna said, within the next 60 days, all that should be happening. Nice. I think she's gauging everything around when Zoe's going to be born. So <laughs> <laughs> she get, get everything all done. <laughs> right. Um, okay. And now um, some statistics that Josh went over with um, the hemp industry. It's going from a $600 million industry to a $22 billion industry in three years. Can you say opportunity? Holy cow. 600 million to 22 billion in three years. That's crazy. That's huge. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I was looking at the, when I had to send Sandy the actual ID numbers for, you know, five people that I signed this month. So I was looking at somebody that I signed on the 9th, I think it was, and then somebody else that I signed yesterday, and there was almost a 10,000 unit difference meaning that there's been 10,000 people more just this month not, and not even the whole month oh, wow. that have signed on to HempWorks either affiliate or customer or whatever yeah that's great crazy yeah and I think the sample program has really enhanced that too you know those numbers <clears throat> because I, I love that I love that sample pack program and it's not like you know I feel like I'm, I'm losing their a customer that they're not buying a full bottle, but I'll tell you right after they do their sample pack and I give them, you know, the first week I check back the second week and they most, I've had so many people just turn around, just order the bottle. Yeah. So it is good to get them started with it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, once they're a customer, they can't order the sample, right? They took that link. You can away. only order if you're an affiliate. Okay. So what Shannon has been doing is, um, when she has been promoting the sprays, because that's what she kind of has been doing recently is letting people know about the sprays. But then she says, but before you go and order the sprays, I want you to hop on and order your sample pack and get your sample pack. Um, uh, cause they're, they're, you know, it's a fear of loss kind of thing. You know, you won't be able to do it. You know, they're only for a limited time. There's only a few, you know, limited number of them. So grab your sample pack. Get the psyche, get the psyche up of it. Yeah. yeah. And then go in and get your, um, get your sprays. <laughs> so then they get the sample pack, get the drip campaign of the sample pack coming to them. And then they're getting the sprays too. So I thought that was quite clever of her. So encouraging them to get that free sample pack and then grab their sprays that they want. Okay. Um, let's see. And then with all this booming indus industries and you know, all the companies that are um, launching their own CBD products, we are still the number one CBD company. Phenomenal being the number one. Um, celebrities use um, CBD and endorsing it, helping the boys. Uh, get out that way. Montel Williams, Mandy Moore, Kathy Ireland, Terrell Davis, a football player. Mm -hmm. I believe M Michael J. Fox uses it. Um, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. yeah. And um, Jennifer Aniston, I think, too. Yeah. Um, so. In fact, I, I, I posted, I don't know if anybody saw, but feel free to, to borrow. As we know, everything is duplicatable. I posted that, that Michael J. Fox um, post about him using the CBD and I have two very dear girlfriends who have um, early stages Parkinson's and they've been, you know, commenting all along, all along, all along. And yeah, I should do it. I'm afraid. Let me talk to my neurologist. And I posted that and they both ordered a, a bottle that night. They're like, you know, cause Michael J. Fox is, is really, a, he's put his face out there for Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. so you just, you like, you know, and I always say, you just never know who's watching and who's listening and and you know they may see one post one post that you make that they go aha now i'm going to go do it so it's yeah, great exactly okay um and then he did some um some i can't i can't my mind just left what i was trying to say what what he's calling that but the popularity of cbd um some polls polling that's the word. Um, so, 
so what, what was the poll? Um, so they, they asked polling some asked them some questions, Americans questions. So what's the okay. share of Americans interested in seeing more research about the benefits and effectiveness of CBD? Seventy three percent. So that wow. is a great little number to have in our arsenal. Um, what's the share of Americans who believe legally legalizing the growth of regulated <laughs> homes through the 2018 Farm Bill is a step in the right direction? 72 percent. What's the share of Americans interested in learning about the benefits of CBD products? So in December 2018, it was 60 percent. January, a month later, popped up to 67 percent. Um, among all age groups, the interest was the highest in the 18 to 34 year old category. In December, it was 73%, and in January, it was 78%. In one little month, the percentages jump, which shows you the growth of this, um, the CBD industry. And then network marketing, he um, shared some statistics of that was the word I was looking for, statistics. <laughs> you need some oil or... to get in this business, right? So. <laughs> okay, so network marketing. It is the business of the 21st century. I mean, everything's going to online ordering, but um, just to show you the details. So um, the NFL is a $9.5 billion industry. The music industry is a $16.5 billion industry. Video gaming, that Fortnite stuff and whatever all that stuff is, $67 billion industry. The movie, the movie industry is an $80 billion industry. Organic products is a $91 billion industry. And network marketing is a $178 billion industry. Is that crazy? That's almost double of the organic, you know, the next highest category, $178 billion industry. It's just getting more and more accepted around the world. Um, people are just understanding it more through, you know, all of us educating them. Every 10 seconds, someone is joining a home-based business around the world. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Um, okay, then Josh went into... Um, when you're looking at a network marketing company, um, there's five pillars that you look for. And um, as far as MDC um, goes, he kind of attributed five pillars. Um, so the first pillar is people. And with My Daily Choice, it's founded by affiliates for affiliates. So the people at the top and the people who start the company is very important. You don't just want corporate execs who've never been in the field before you know they they don't have a clue. so it's great that we have affiliates who've been in the trenches and know what they're talking about um, products you want to make sure they're highly consumable trending affordable and unique in the marketplace of course we check all those boxes um, okay. um, compensation plan I, I've been in other, in other network marketing companies, and I have to say, this is the best one that I've ever seen. Um, it pays like, like no other that I'm aware of. And from people I've talked to who've been in multiple others, I see you guys shaking your head. It's <laughs> the best, right? It's great. Yeah. Um, and then it uh, can pay out up to 85% of the business volume, which is unheard of. <clears throat> and um, you can make a million dollars a month in this company, and that would be nice. Um, a marketing system. We have a cutting-edge uh, tools. No extra cost to us. We have um, the drip campaigns, um, the fear of loss um, marketing campaigns that come out on Thursday for the cutoff days, um, the email systems through the... Um, the sample program, all the different landing pages that um, people can, can pre-enroll in. Um, so that's amazing. I've, I haven't been in a company that's had that either. Other companies that do offer that, I hear, charge for it. Anywhere 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 99 bucks a month. 
and here they're giving it to us free. So that is amazing. And then timing, massive growth in the CBD industry and massive growth in network marketing. So we've got those two boxes ticked. So those are the five pillars, people, products, compensation plan, marketing system, and timing. Okay. Um, and then they went into the My Daily Choice corporate training. Um, there's six core principles um, when you're building your business. The first one is relationships. Uh, network marketing is relationship business. So focus on building quality relationships with product, product prospects. Okay, so we're not sleazy salespeople. We care about um, everyone and we form a great connection. So, you know, people buy from people that they like, know, and trust. Okay. Um, become a leader. Surround yourself with leaders. So do the training calls. You guys come on the Zooms with us. Um, go to the live events because they're amazing. Read personal development books. I mean, that changes your whole psyche too. Um, I, I remember, well, GoPro by Eric Worre, that was a great one too, but um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I love that one. That changed my whole inner workings of my brain around. I don't know what it was. We just listened to it um, audio when we were driving in the car and I, I love that book. And that's an oldie but goodie. I think he wrote it what, in 1929 or something like that. It's crazy. Um, it's an old one, but that is a great one. Um, let's see. Build a list. Um, so the money's really in the list. Focus on constantly building your list. So, you know, anytime you think of someone who might be interested in the business or products, write them down. Um, just keep, keep your list going. Will be changing all the time. Uh, increase your value. Your income and your success is in direct relation to the value you deliver to society and the scale in which you deliver that value. Commit to a principle called Kane, consistent and never ending improvement. Okay, so you want to share things of value with people. You don't want to just be, if you're building on social media, you definitely don't want to be an ad. And so people come to your wall and all they see is sales stuff, hemp works, hemp works stuff. You want to be um, not only a value in our CBD oil, but educating them too, but maybe even a value by lifting people up, being inspirational. Um, if somebody has a bad day, then that maybe they know, well, you know what, I'm going to go check out um, Susie's nice. page because, you know, she has great stuff or I need a laugh. So, you know, I'm going to go to see what Shelly has to say today. You know, this, you know that, that's all valuable too. You know, it's not. Or recipes. Or recipes. <laughs> <laughs> or puzzles. If somebody wants to get their brain working and like that. Oh my gosh, that picture I did with the models. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got that from Sandy, actually. And I had, I think I posted on a Wednesday and like a week and a half, two weeks later, people were still commenting. I don't uh -huh. know, you know, so it's crazy. Um, but yeah, that kind of stuff that keep, gets people thinking. Um, expose your business daily. This is a business of exposures. You must expose people to um, your business daily. Invite them, follow up, um, and close them. So... Yeah, so if they don't, if you're not talking about it, your business isn't open. So um, you need to keep your doors open all the time. So talk about it. And so people know that you're still doing it. Okay. Um, solve problems. As entrepreneurs, we're in the problem solving business. The more problems you solve, the more money you make. Um, and, and, you know, people want to know what's in it for them. They don't really care about you. Uh, they want you to solve their problems. Okay, so like being a problem solver and thinking about what's best for them is the way you want to go. And by helping people solve their problems, then that helps you with your business as well. I'm typing this list up. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, and then mindset. Janice talked on mindset, and there's four C's of mindset clarity. Decide what you want to accomplish and who you want to become. Okay. So think about what you, where, where your path is. Um, 
conviction, develop unshakable belief that you can do it. So you can't say, I'm going to try. You know, I, I'm trying to blah, blah, blah. I try <coughs> to get the mental block up. You need to know that you can do it, see it, believe it, achieve it. Okay, so. It's the self-talk. Negative self-talk is going to produce negative results. Positive yeah. self-talk is going to produce positive results. I did a whole podcast on that the other day. <laughs> you can do a, a Team Zoom all about that. <laughs> I have to think of something to do. <laughs> um, commitment, develop the willingness to pay the price. So you need to stay committed. So um, this is not a get rich quick business. You don't just do it for a few months and then give up. Because um, that, uh, uh, it, 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 takes, it takes commitment. It takes true grit. It's going to get tough. You're going to get no's. Um, you, you just have to stay the course. You have to put blinders on and not give up because even though you only pay $20 for this business, you have to think of it as your multi-million dollar business. <coughs> even just, though you only get it first. Just got a sale. I got a I'm up to my sale. Yay. <laughs> I guess I, she just said, it's great. How much? Where do I sign up? Okay. I, I got my six. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Thanks for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so stay the course because you don't want to quit because then that brings in that whole story about three feet from gold. You know, you uh -huh. just never know where you might just hit, you know, <laughs> your gold mine. And if you stop and you were just almost there from being success, you just, yeah. So just keep going. Consistency. Resolve to work on your goals every day and night until they're accomplished. So that's that's goes along. Did, you just, did you just repeat the first two again for um, me? Clarity. Clarity. Conviction. Conviction. Okay. And then commitment and consistency. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then uh, Josh went into the whole compensation plan, so I'm not going to go through that whole thing. Um, but he, he also just kind of, when the, when the leadership panel was up there, it was interesting because they were all successful leaders, but they all approached their business differently. Mm -hmm. um, some people went for customers, you know, they, they just wanted to solve people's problems and they drew a customer base and then um, customers who loved the products upgraded to affiliates. Then there was those on the other end that were all business minded. You know, they wanted to find the business people um, that their, their red personalities and they want the business people. So in that vein of thought, if, if somebody wants to promote fastness company, um, they want to join as an executive. It's $599 for the executive pack. So $600 in the scheme of things is not expensive um, to buy a business. Yeah. A lot of times we um, <coughs> think that someone can't afford it and we like project that once yeah. again, like, okay, $600, but you don't have to do that. You know, you can only spend $32 and come in with a sample pack and, you know, the eleven ninety five sample pack and the $20, you know. I don't even tell people that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the cheapest way someone can come in. But a five ninety nine to do a whole home based business, you know, one time five ninety nine. That's a and it's a write off too. So they come in an executive pack, and then you just say, okay, can you think of four people who want a home based business out of all your friends? Do you know four people who have five ninety nine? Um, for a home-based business that is the number one cannabis company and, you know, looking for business-minded people. And then when they find their four, then you just teach them to do the same thing. Just think of four people, you know, um, they can get more than that, obviously, and get customers in the mix. But in a perfect world, if you um, came in with an executive pack, because everyone asks what you did, right? So mm -hmm. if you can come in as an executive pack, all the better. Or I came in as director, but I upgraded right away. 
because um, we know that being an executive is the best um, buy-in that you can do to get the best in the comp plan. Okay, so um, you came in as executive and then you enroll, your, you found your four business people and they each bought their executive packs. So that's 400 BV in your, in your first line. So that's 16, 1600 BV you have right there. You're teaching those four people, just go out and find your four people. And, you, and this is quickly, because this is all in 30 days. Okay, so, so this is like a quick thing. Um, so they all find their four people. So in your level two, that's 6,400 BV. 6,400 BV plus the 1,600 in your level one, that's 8,000 BV. So you blew past 5K and you're almost 10K. And, and it's that easy if you just break it down like that. Just think of, you know, four, four people who want to have a home-based business, who need a side gig. Um, you know, everyone needs uh, comfort. Home. I mean, not, not only is it good to have extra money coming in, but the tax write-offs of a home-based business are phenomenal too. Okay. So um, I think a lot of people can think of it that have 599 to spend. And if not, then, you know, but that, that is for people who are running, who want to just get right. home with this and want to do it quickly. And a lot of times people that are doing that, you know, they get that, okay, I mean, most people have a credit card. So you put it on your credit card, you hustle it up for the month, and you've got more than enough money to pay that bill when the card comes. I mean, right. the card when the bill comes, right? Right. right. Because if you're an executive and you're four people that just um, bought the executive pack, you're making... 200, 200, 200, 200. You made it $800 right there. You, you right. put yourself back. Right yes, away. you're already profitable. You're profit right there by getting your first four. So you just tell them, tell your four that same too. You just, you just put out 600 bucks, but let's get you 800 bucks tomorrow. <laughs> you, know, you know, so. Next you, week. It, yeah. Tomorrow. Next Thursday. <laughs> Let's do it tomorrow and you can have it paid out on Thursday. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? So, I mean, and breaking it down to brass tacks, that's how easy it can be. Okay. And if you focus on that, then you can make it happen because it's amazing. If you put that out into mm -hmm. the universe, what it'll do for you. If you put out into the universe, oh, I don't know anyone who can afford that. Oh, I don't know anyone who has that kind of, and nobody's going to want to do that then they're not going to want to do that, right? So you need to know that you have people, you have four people that will spend $600 for a tax write-off home-based business and get yeah. that. Well, amazing. And I think that, that becomes your intention. And if you can take your intention, you know, it's just, I love, love, love listening to Candice Bird Davis. I thought she was like amazing. But if you take your intention and wrap it with your why or your passion, you're going on the right track and you're going full speed ahead and that's going to be contagious and other good, other people are going to want to jump on with that. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah. On, on the same note, I'm, I'm almost done. So you guys are going to be on stage next, but um, CD, Candace Bird uh, Davis, that's her name, right? Right. I love two things that she said. You can make, you can make excuses or you can make money, but you can't make both. So, honey, you got to make a decision. <laughs> um, tell me yes, tell me no, but tell me quick. I got to go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys, you guys who weren't there, she was phenomenal. She was, blah, 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 blah. I actually posted in our team page, um, like an opportunity meeting that she did, but it was just, you know, her talking to the computer. And she just like, didn't take a breath, no ums, ahs. I'm like, she must be reading it or something. I mean, it was just brilliant. So if you guys can watch it, it's in our group somewhere. I put it in there. Okay. So, all right. So you guys that went to the event, there's one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five of you. <laughs> okay. So who wants to go? What, what? Did you like what impressed you? What did you get out of it? What, who would like to share something? I will go. Yay, honey. Although I, I really wish I had 
taking that one because um, it was great. Like a few of you said, it, it reminded me of a convention, a smaller version of convention. And since it was, since I'm a newbie and I went, I totally enjoyed hearing everybody's story and meeting everyone. Um, the founders are very cool for young people. <laughs> um, but when I got home and I made a comment on, on Facebook, one of my friends said, oh, I wish I would have known. I would have gone. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's definitely a great thing to take people to and to go and just reaffirmate everything that you're wanting to know about it. So, yeah, it was great. Definitely. Anyone else? Well, I just want to. I'm going to just want to. Michelle, but Michelle Schaefer, I'm going to on you, but till at the end. Okay, go ahead, Pam. No, I was just going to say I was thinking about what Connie was saying. So I had a bunch of people come with me. Some of them stayed like for the first part, and then they had to leave because they, you know, they just didn't realize how powerful the whole thing was. But two of the people that came told me beforehand, well, I'm only coming because I'm bringing so-and-so and they really need to get into the business. So I have no interest. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do anything. And both of them, by the time they left, even though both of them left halfway through the day, they both said, well, I, I don't know. Like, I really think I should maybe buy some of that product or I don't, you know, it, it was just, I was laughing so hard because I thought, man, I should have brought 50 people with me instead yeah. of the 10 or 12 that I brought. But I, I'm going to get, um, I've already got confirmation that a few people are signing up as affiliates. Uh, we're doing a, a lot of people signing up tomorrow. Um, but it, yeah, it was good. But it was that powerful, even just that first half of the day. And then my favorite in the second half was absolutely um, Candace Bird Davis. I mean, I just want to go hang out with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. She's just amazing. Absolutely. Shelly, do you have anything? I had to unmute because I'm taking care of these dogs and they like to bark occasionally. So, um, you know, you kind of captured a couple of the things that I really liked. Um, the thing about tell me yes, tell me no, but tell me soon, I gotta go. I really liked that. Um, but the overall inspirational uh, day that it was was just outstanding. I, you know, I like the fact that they bring people up and I like seeing different people each time because you know that sometimes when you see the same people, you're like, oh, you know, I'll never get there. I'll never get there. And then the next time you see somebody else who is, uh, who wasn't there before and you're like, she did it, she did it, or he did it. So um, I like when they bring new people up. I like when they talk about the stories of how, you know, like one woman, I think it was Candace, she, you know, she was a single mom no money, could not do anything practically, but she had, you know, the momentum to do this. So I like to hear people about that. I just like the inspirational value of the whole thing because it makes you feel that you can, in fact, do this if you just follow the steps that are in place and don't try to reinvent yourself. And I also, you know, I have to reiterate, people who join this business, um, you know, I don't care if it's direct sales, it's still your business. If you owned a donut shop, you'd have to do things on a regular basis to make that donut shop successful. You'd have to be on social media. You'd have to be posting about it. You'd have to be advertising. Advertising would be a whole lot more. You'd have to pay for all these other services. This is the way to go, everybody. This is the way to go. Uh, but it's a business and you've got to treat it like a business if you want it to pay you like a business. So, um, you know, it just is a reminder that everything is possible if you just want to take the, the steps that they put out there for you and get the two people on each side and then work from there. And also to reiterate, it's all about relationship building. It's not about, like Jenna said, having all the stuff about CBD on your on your profile, you know, you've got to have things about yourself. She said, put five things about yourself. And she put down, um, you know, she was a mom, she was, you know, hempreneur or something. And she had interesting things about herself. It wasn't all about, you know, this, I'm this, I'm this. So you want people to get to know you. So they want to come and see what you're doing. That was, that was the key. So 
anyhow, that's what I liked. Thank you. Um, I was going to ask Lana, but she just disappeared. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Lana, do you have anything? I'm here. Here? I, uh, can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, good, because sometimes my mic doesn't work on some of these applications for some reason. Like Facebook Live. I can't get my camera to work out there. Uh, it was a really, it was awesome. I, I really enjoyed listening to the leaders. And it gives you hope because when you hear all their stories, how they, you know, started out so like yeah, they're in uh, evictions and uh, you know all these trials that they went through, and then now they're like making 500k or you know with the, with the business. I thought it gives you a lot of hope that you know, especially when you see the the comp plan explained. I was so excited about. I was already excited about the comp plan, but then seeing hearing Josh explain it a little bit more with all the visuals he did with the people getting up in the seats in the front and talking about the leadership uh, check matching was really exciting. That, that was the most exciting part <laughs> because that's the reason why I joined was to help people and to make money, you know, and just, you know, making money the first month and getting as many people in, you know, this month actually four already. I am um, really excited about how fast it's growing. I've never been in a network marketing company that has grown this fast or even made money the first month, you know. So I'm really excited about it. I'm not giving up. I'm staying in this. Awesome. It was a good day. I liked it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Michelle. Your turn. <laughs> so I love both. Hey, <laughs> it was really great. I was there. I'm not as an affiliate yet. And really what was impressionable to me the most was the fact that it was built by affiliates for affiliates. Yeah. Huge, and that is huge and very absent in most direct sales MLM companies out there right now. So that was really, and they mean it. Like the proof is in the pudding. You know, what they do by offering the marketing without charging, things like that. It's just, it, it, I love that fact because not all of them have been affiliates before out there and it makes a difference. Um, the second thing, I'm a product snob. So for me, I even learned about the vacuum seal part. I didn't know that. That is fabulous. I mean, there's not a lot of companies that can say that. That's huge. Most of the bacteria and the pathogens, uh, there's a huge percentage that is, a, it, is acquired by the plant while it's hanging to be dried. Michelle, so, Michelle, can you Michelle, can you um, kind of briefly tell them your background on the CBD stuff? Uh, <laughs> um, oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> Real brief. <laughs> um, I I've been in the in the cannabis industry for about four years now. Um, my husband, my family is law enforcement, and I've been a very sick person most of my life, and my very very brave took me to go get my card I ended up working through all of that and I became a very much more healthier person um I ended up thinking that and what was happening went online got educated spent a year online get a master certified in the industry through an online university so I kind of just needed to know what was happening so I'm a cultivator I'm an extractor um I, I basically do all of that kind of stuff CBD I grow like high you know like strains and stuff on the cannabis side that's what I used to do but when it comes to pulling out the CBD I wasn't really versed on that until I had an experience specifically utilizing CBD so which kind of converted me over into like okay maybe one cannabinoid is okay you know and so I'm a whole plant girl so I believe in the entourage effect and all of the synergistic wonderful qualities of all of the cannabinoids working together so basically um, I was going to be launching my own CBD product line I scrapped it about three weeks ago. I've been looking into HempWorks for six months. Um, it was basically because I was comparing products for due diligence. So that's how I kind of got turned on to it, just by my own, you know, Google, Googling and stuff. And um, when the regulations and the looming regulations for the CBD industry and everything, what's going to happen, what's coming, I just decided it wasn't the path I wanted because it wasn't the platform for me to be able to be behind a desk running a business, doing all that stress, doing all that stuff that, which our company has like so amazingly laid out for us beautifully that we can just go off and be wonderful and do what we do and share our products and our lives. Um, 
and works now and what else do, what else <laughs> well, that, 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 that was it i wanted them to kind of know that so, you have background and stuff and yeah I, I kind of I a little bit and i'm really excited to share anything i know with everybody so it's, i'm really excited to be part of a team like that really excited um there is a couple other things that one thing that so i have to tell you guys all the story because it's all about you guys you I saw all of you. Who was there? I saw, well, I don't know everybody's name. Sorry. I saw a few, I saw a couple of you and I was like, guys, and I watched you. I didn't know it was you. I had no clue. I had to watch you. You were in front of me, but the energy, the respect for each other, just the camaraderie, besides the amazing product, the plan, the compensation plan, the company and everything, don't ever underestimate the feeling what you guys the energy that you put off when you're all together because that was just dynamic for me so and that was really impressionable for me um actually it wasn't all you guys it was like everybody pretty much was really really excited to be there really wanted to be there and that was amazing for me because a lot of people have you know body dragged and stuff and then just looking at you guys and how y'all interacted i mean that was for me that was just wonderful i mean that was obviously the um product of the company enabling somebody to the product that they need to do. Awesome. You know what? I had a question though. Um, when you said number one CBD company, did you mean number one in, in MLM CBD company or overall? And what is that based off of? I was just curious. Um, Josh, Josh is the biggest purchaser of CBD oil. And originally I thought it was the country, but I don't know if it's, you know, so like of all the other companies, um, he's the number one purchaser. He purchases the most, so he's all the most. All company. Of all of them. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's bring your doggy to work day. <laughs> I love it. Hey, hi, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say one more thing. I want to thank you, Laura, for being such a great leader for us after the convention. Oh. We all went to El Cerrito, which was eight of us, right? It was about eight of us. And Laura came for our dinner. It was a big blessing. I wasn't expecting that at all. Thank you very much for being You're a welcome. leader for us, making it just, it was amazing, you know, see everybody there. That's what the thing that gets you excited. And, you know, seeing everybody in person is so different than just even on this, you know. It really is. Yeah. Thank you, Laura. Can I say one more thing? Yes, ma'am. Um, one thing I forgot to share that I um, that I heard again at the convention, although I knew this, you know, their rank rank advancement <laughs> bonuses that they pay out. You know, once you've achieved the rank, I think you have to maintain it for what three months, and then they yeah. pay you whatever that bonus is, and they pay it to you right then and there. Whereas other companies have typically will pay it over like a two year period. And from what I understood. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes that if you drop rank, then they don't end up paying you even though you earned it. So that to me is just outrageously wonderful that they do that. I think that's outrage outrageously wonderful. And I like the um, leadership check matching too, because typically you don't be able, you, you don't able to get that unless you are in uh, the higher ranks to start with. So um, two great reasons to be in this company. Absolutely. I really like what, what Michelle had said about just noticing the difference in culture mm -hmm. from so many other companies. I mean, Laura, you know, in our last company, it just wasn't like that. Like all of the really high level leaders were like way up here, didn't like interact. Even if you went to take a picture with them, they would kind of like, yeah, whatever. You know, it's like, it, it's so different in this company. It's like everybody is the same and even judy stallings i mean here she is super affiliate first one to go super affiliate and she's the most down-to-earth person yeah. ever and that's how everybody is and everybody's so willing to share and to be there and to jump on other people's zooms to help out i mean like the doctor in in tampa said oh yeah if you ever want me to come on one of your zooms i'm happy to well how big of a deal is that to have a colorectal surgeon jumping on talking about why hemp works yeah i do uh, send that up. Okay. 
Pamela, for me? you need to set that up. I will. Okay. Yeah, he told me he would do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's pick a date and do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a note. Maybe next Thursday. Are you in in, next Thursday might be, I'm in Dallas next Thursday and I have a dinner meeting, so I won't be able to, sorry. Okay. But I'll check for maybe the Thursday after. Okay. That sounds great. Okay, anything else to you guys? We've almost been on here an hour now. And it doesn't seem like an hour. I know. I have a question. Yes. This is probably, I don't know if it's smart or not, but you know, I was looking at the leaderboard and I'm looking at how many people that they're bringing in for the month, like over 150 people. Are they doing like traffic? Are they buying traffic for those? Or you know, how are they doing that? Is it talking to people or is it buying traffic? Um, yeah, they could be doing SEO optimization so that when anyone searches I think my internet connection is dead. CBD oil or <clears throat> anything like that, they <coughs> traffic that way. It's all sorts of things. Right? You know, I spoke, remember when Barb Miller used to be the top person every single month and she would have, she would sign over 300 people every single month. And I asked her one time, like, what do you do? Like, do you, are you advertising? And she said, no, I have a blog. And she had a lot of followers, a ton of followers. And it's like Kimberly on my team that has signed, I think, 29 or 30 people. She's getting close to that now. I mean, this morning it was at 28. And I think she signed a couple today, possibly. She just has a big following in the dog rescue community. So she did that in a matter of a couple of posts. So some people are really big in whatever community they belong to and people are gonna do what they suggest they do or if they see something's working, people are gonna jump on and do that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, trust me, if it was just a matter of advertising and you had to pay for an ad, like I would totally do that. But I don't think that's necessarily always it. Right. I don't think the market is saturated enough for them to have to do that just yet. I mean, there's so there's there's just yeah. not like we're scrapping for leads or people or anything. It's just so open. Well, and I think too that now, especially you've got the Dr. Oz thing. I mean, he really amplified the chatter about CBD, and it's happening more and more every single day. So I think we need to be really smart, and we need to really get in there and educate people. Teach people how to read labels. Teach people how to compare products, what to look for, what's the difference between, you know, an ethanol extraction and a CO2 extraction is. Like if we could, we almost should focus like one whole Thursday night on teaching people and, and Michelle with two L's, well, you both are showing with two L's, but <laughs> <laughs> the brand new Michelle. I mean, you could play a really big part in that just because of their, you've got expertise in that. I think that would be amazing because if we could do like a train the trainer kind of thing, and for those of us that participate on the Zoom calls, we could take it back to our individual teams. Um, I mean, Michelle Powers too has a big team now. And I think we've got to use that train the trainer model and teach people how to go out and put out for public facing and teach the general public why hemp works because they're going to know why CBD because they're going to start hearing it. It's on iHeartRadio, it's everywhere, but we've got to teach people how to compare products and why hemp works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, even, even Oscar, even the, uh, the gifting bags and Oscars had CBD products in them. So oh yeah, it's it's everywhere and it's going to be everywhere, but people don't know. I mean, they don't know. Yeah, and they don't know what they don't know. Right, they don't even know to question. <laughs> it's like before before we were all taught to read the labels at the grocery store, <coughs> like we didn't know, we would have never thought to do that. Right. And, and just like when we all started our journey and the whole drug testing thing was a big issue, and people were telling people, oh, no, you won't fail a drug test. There's only trace amounts. No, you won't. And then people were because they didn't tell them that there are highly sophisticated drug tests out there that can pick up trace amounts. You know, so I think nowadays 
we're all educated more now, not, and we won't be jeopardizing people's jobs, um, you know, about drug testing. Right. But yes, you can fail it when you're taking a, t a full spectrum with just trace amounts. You can fail a drug test. Yeah, especially any of the professions that do a zero tolerance drug test or any of the, um, the pain management clinics that do a zero tolerance drug test is definitely <laughs> going to show up. Right, right. So, What's yeah. amazing about our product being grown and manufactured, everything in the United States is amazing compared to what's going on out there because a lot of these companies and with my, within my cannabis network that com, group that I do, a lot of these companies are importing their isolate from other countries. Yeah. They don't yeah. know how to process. They don't know how it was grown. They don't, you just do not know. I personally know a gentleman that paid $20,000 for isolate, imported it here, and I told him, you need to have that tested. He had it tested and it was gunk. It was nothing. He made his product and put it out on the market. Oh my God. And that's happening more than just that story. Oh, a, a huge chunk of them. Yeah. A lot, unfortunately. Well, I had a customer today that got a sample pack and I was, you know, following up with the sample people and he was saying, you know, can't I just get this at the store? Like, well, yeah, you can get CBD oil at the store, but you better check the ingredients, <laughs> you know. But that's one of the things that I'm coming into is people, well, I can just get this at the store, you know. Yeah. Well, and beyond just the ingredients, you know, it's, I was doing a comparison for somebody, I think it was last week. And, you know, when they start adding all the MCT, fractionated coconut oil, whatever, and say, well, this is the carrier oil. Well, guess what? You don't need that. But anyways, they start adding that. So they're actually diluting the product. So you need to take more of it. So if you look on most of those bottles that have those kind of ingredients added, it'll show like 30 servings in a bottle. So if you're going to compare apples to apples, you got to be, you know, ours says 50 servings to a bottle. And that's if you're taking 20 drops, like right. most people don't take 20 drops. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um, anything else, you guys? Any other questions, concerns, comments? So, um, Michelle, Kristen, uh, you guys need to get to a roadshow when it comes your way. <laughs> yeah. That was great. I love that roadshow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In fact, um, Tom and I are going to go up to the um, Vegas one. I'm going to try to come to that. And if you guys want to road trip it up to Vegas, we're going up there <laughs> on the 9th. You know, the cool thing, too, is that they had the diesel truck there with the the you know chemical thing marked up on there on the back right. by the truck yeah. on their like on their ad it was there in the parking lot yeah Lynette got a picture with it <laughs> yeah and Casey drives that Casey who um, came on our Zoom a few weeks ago oh okay yeah really yeah cool. he's the one that drives it from um, event to event. event that's cool yeah okay. All right, then I'm going to stop the recording.